das war dann der 27. Chaos Communication Congress. Um, or should I do it in English? English speakers? Hands up? Okay, so I'm doing it in English. So, um, this is the closing ceremony of the 27th Chaos Communication, Chaos Communication Congress. Um, many thanks for being here. We close traditionally with um, a little bit of insight into what happened behind the scenes. And we start as usual with um, the knock that will tell us a little bit about uh, what happened on the network. Then we will have a little presentation from the people who provided uh, our streaming, the FEM. And then I will regale you with uh, a few statistics about the rest of the Congress, how much Marta was consumed, uh, how many victims the CERT needed to treat, and so on. So what we start first is the knock. Thanks. Hi everyone and uh, welcome to the usual knock talk at the end of the Congress. Um, we get dragged out of our nice warm cozy knock room and forced to rather nervously come up here on stage and explain what we did. So um, well you can see this is the uh, hardware we had. Um, we had a rooted core of uh, Force 10 switches um, and Juniper MX240 as the border. Force 10 distribution switches, a whole pile of HP edge switches which you've seen round and about at the, on the dance floors and so forth and uh, a wireless network with Cisco APs. This is a diagram. We actually had a diagram this year. Um, <laughs> you can see some pictures. Yeah, there's some boxes, there's some routers, there's some switches. Uh, obviously, if we tried to draw everything on one diagram, it would get far too big and we wouldn't be able to see it. Here's the core of the network. Uh, this is a Force 10 E600. Um, Usually, uh, we like to customize the hardware a certain amount, so <laughs> uh, this will probably be removed before we send it back to Force 10. Um, <laughs> uplink. This is the Juniper MX240. This does our BGP with our uplinks, um, which, you can, which are kindly provided by the list of people on the uh, left there. Um, we have a 10 gig link out of the uh, Congress Center, which goes to uh, um, Alboin Contour. Excuse my pronunciation. Um, and uh, then breaks out there to the various transit providers and so forth. So um, I'm going to pass on to Attila, who's going to talk about the wireless. Okay, uh, we're seeing more and more wireless usage, and uh, as um, it seems to work pretty great on 5 gigahertz, but it still breaks on 2.4. So for the camp or next year, try to bring 5 gigahertz hardware. It shouldn't be that expensive anymore. A simple USB stick with support for various operating systems you can get uh, across the street here. Um, well, uh, we had some problems with the wireless. Um, uh, I think this is one of the biggest. Uh, this picture was taken in the NOC uh, during the build-up um, because I noticed that my own MacBook uh, crashed several times. And that usually doesn't happen so often, so that's, uh, well. And it didn't take us long to find the exact cause. And um, it was uh, caused by disabling a specific feature on the controller, uh, which is actually mandatory according to the IEEE standard. Um, I've uh, posted all the details on BugTrack. Uh, you can also find a PCAP file. Um, and, well, you can play along with it. Uh, I already emailed Apple, and they are aware of the issue, so uh, have fun with it. So, uh, back to me again. So, what other problems did we have? Well. We had an incident downstairs which caused uh, quite a bit of an outage. Uh, someone was basically causing a deliberate attack on the network where you send lots of um, frames with uh, random MAC addresses, sources. Um, our response is basically knock, search, and destroy. Um, go down into the dance floor, find out who it is, and uh, deal with them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, 
We can actually mitigate against this. Uh, we, we can actually limit the number of MAC addresses we see on uh, the uplink ports on the false tens. Uh, and then we just simply get this nice little log message and we can wander down without it really causing much of an outage and just find the, find the person and the culprit carefully um, and demand crates of club martyr and things like that. We have another recurrent problem at the Congress, which is uh, we, we're actually putting far more bandwidth over the fibers that are in this building that interconnect the comms rooms than uh, they're really designed for. I mean, these fibers were put in over 10 years ago. Uh, they're multi-mode fiber. Um, and in fact, a rated limit is only 88 meters, which isn't very long in a building um, for these kind of fibers. So we have various workarounds in it, but it is a bit of a recurrent problem here. Um, the real fix to this is to install single mode fiber. We've started to do that. Um, unfortunately, didn't quite get it finished. Uh, uh, <laughs> this, this worked and it carried 10 gig of traffic, so that's all fine. Um, just needs maybe some tidying up next year. We have an abuse phone, which is carried by a member of the Knox staff. Um, it's part of our kind of way of making sure we're, we're good to the internet community. People can call up any time and, and discuss problems they see on the network. Um, we had a, one of these instances. We had an attempted uh, attack on a government site, um, which uh, we tracked the uh, culprit down and uh, gained two cases of Club Marta. Um, always very welcome in the Knock. Um, and then it's more just actually boring stuff like Someone was allegedly seeding some DVD rip in French. Get some emails, no problem. Um, and then we had just an enthusiastic fan that phoned the abuse line to uh, say we were great. Um, thanks. <laughs> These guys here, which does include me and, uh, and some other people, um, we, uh, we were part of the NOC team. Um, we also couldn't really do this without the great Orga people, and especially the NOC help desk, who act as our sort of first line support out there, on the, uh, out there in the building uh, and avoid this constant stream of people coming into the NOC, which is not so great. Uh, so thanks, everyone. It was great. And, uh, and it only remains to actually thank our. Uh, basically a massive array of supporters who provided the equipment, the internet transit, the fiber, all kinds of things like this, the optics. Um, it's, a, it's a great bunch of companies, some of them well-known, some of them less well-known, um, and they've all provided stuff to us to uh, help run the Congress network. So if you're looking to buy equipment or things like that, then remember these names, they're good guys. That's it, thanks very much. Yeah, the many thanks to the NOC, uh, who provided our bandwidth and access to it. Um, we had very little app use this year, surprisingly so. We expected uh, more trouble um, since all days of the Congress were weekdays. And usually, um, when there is no weekend, then we have more trouble because people tend to notice that their websites got defaced. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, surprisingly, so the, um, the abuse hotline had very few incidents. One of them was purely in house. Basically, it was a uh, DDoS attack, and uh, the guy who was, whose website was DDoS was actually sitting in a knock. <laughs> so the problem could be solved internally. And uh, uh, another call was um, from a guy who just called to ask um, how it was done, uh, <laughs> which was okay. So we had one funny thing, which is that a um, um, German right-wing uh, website got <laughs> proactively offline for Congress. <laughs> So, yeah, we came in peace. <laughs> and uh, now we have a short presentation by 
the people from FEM who provided our streaming. Screen. Maybe here is full screen. <laughs> so, that's uh, not my Mac. Next year I will uh, use a real computer. <laughs> so now uh, we streamed uh, all the uh, lectures this year and we have some facts and here is the graph. <laughs> and we have some some uh, attack. We we think it's it it, it was strange. It, it it comes connections in and the the counters runs up and uh, but uh, after a short uh, time uh, we have a self cooling system <laughs> and it's break down. But the the, the real peak is uh, the Pfeiffer peak. Uh, uh, we have uh, 5,800 streaming clients at the same time, and average with night also. The average is uh, with the night, and uh, 1,200 clients out here and all of the world. Um, so we have six encoders with uh, Windows Media and H.264. Uh, we have uh, write a lot of lines code for managing our uh, system, but uh, we won was not fast enough that because the recordings will take a while, and uh, so we have one hours, uh, uh, one hundred hours on lectures, and uh, these are th uh, three terabyte video m material, and. We will it encode on 12 encoders. Uh, so, a lot of thanks to all the people that spent us uh, 12,000 euros, and and at the congress uh, it comes 500 euros uh, to this uh, summary and. We thank all the people they are uh, watching our streams and we thank all the uh, upcoming mirrors for the recordings and so on. We uh, have special thanks to uh, Hetzner, uh, the technical university that gives us a 10 gigabit uplink also Hetzner, 10 gigabit uplink. Uh, we have also support, oh, nice. <laughs> uh, we have also support from the CCC own Selfnet and Money2. And uh, nevertheless, uh, the video and audio angels uh, 
the NOC. They gives us a, a special uplink and uh, the uh, B BCC tech technicians and uh, Nick Farr. Uh, maybe next year it comes the uh, Nick Farr compression tool for images or videos. Huh? Take pictures there, pictures there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <For the market. laughs> so. Thanks for your attention and see you next year. I hope so. Yeah, many thanks to the FEM for providing um, this essential streaming service um, that makes it possible for the people who could not attend physically uh, to still participate in Congress. We had actually uh, quite a lot of peace missions, which were the um, yeah, external Congress locations where people got together watching the streams, um, looking at the content, discussing stuff, and uh, also submitting the questions to the talk via IRC, so that was our effort basically in trying to virtualize the Congress a bit more and make it possible even if you don't want to travel through ice and snow and pre-sale system to um, come or participate in, uh, at the Congress. So in total we had uh, 31 peace missions uh, in Germany, which is um, uh, I think approximately the same as last year. We had 18 peace missions um, outside of Germany, so um, quite a number of places where you could actually watch Congress uh, with people that you like. And uh, some were quite big, so we, um, for instance, I think in, in the Czech in Stuttgart had uh, approximately 15 visitors all the time, and they consumed 200 liters of mate, which is quite a lot for 50 people. <laughs> that uh, was quite fascinating. Um, which brings me to the, the uh, subject of um, gastronomic statistics. We don't know how much was eaten, but we know that we drank 6,000 liters of mate here. <laughs> and surprisingly, only a tenth of that of beer. So, <laughs> so people apparently have been wild awake. Well, peak here. Um, we had uh, approximately 4,000 tickets sold in total, that is uh, uh, t tickets for all days and uh, single day tickets. Um, so we had approximately 3,000 people uh, here at the peak times in the building uh, when, uh, when the large events were, which is approximately what we can get into the building. Um, and the oldest visitor on record is 86 years old. And uh, we had approximately 12 um, kids in the uh, kindergarten, which uh, needs to be advertised a bit more. So we had uh, very well working um, children care. So if you want to bring your kids uh, to the next Congress, uh, we think we will continue that because it worked so well. And their parents were very satisfied because they had a real professional team there caring take, uh, uh, care for the kids, which is a round of applause, I think, because we need... Yeah, we need much more younger people coming here into our cultural zone. Um, the Lost and Found recorded approximately 250 objects. Uh, so if you miss something, Lost and Found is still open to find stuff back. The most curious object so far we had is a Jewish prayer book. <laughs> and the uh, ID card of a uh, police commissioner. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not yet anymore. <laughs> See somebody running. <laughs> so the, um, as I noticed in the film, uh, uh, film already said, we had approximately 100 hours of lectures. 
um, so that was, uh, to be precise, 97.2.5 uh, hours of planned lecture with a bit of overtime and discussions and so on. Um, so that uh, was quite a bit of content uh, that we had. We had only one talk that actually got cancelled. Um, that was uh, because Dmitry Skilarov uh, just got snowed in in Moscow and simply couldn't leave. Uh, otherwise, all talks um, took place that were uh, announced, which is very good. Uh, we needed only to shift one talk because the uh, train was late and one talk was uh, late because the, uh, the speaker came late uh, because the TSA hassled him in the US. So uh, a big thanks to the content team and the people who cared for the speakers. They made possible the great content that we have here and also a big thanks to the speakers who gave the great talks here. We also had a lot of workshops that um, got a bit unnoticed sometimes, which is a pity. We need to find better ways of announcing them and uh, telling people that they are taking place. So, um, also, big thanks to the workshop people who made workshops and distributed knowledge there. Thanks a lot. As usual, when many people come together, there are accidents, incidents, problems that need to be solved. Uh, the people taking care here for that are the people at the CERT. They told me that uh, this was their quietest Congress ever. So they had only 54 people that needed taken care of, which is very little. Apparently, the flu season hasn't hit yet, so they had so little to do that they actually got in cases from, um, yeah, from the street. <laughs> So actually, no, that was, that was an accident that happened, uh, or an incident that happened on the street and needed taken care of. So many thanks for keeping us safe and uh, healthy to the people from the CERT. <laughs> and as you may have noticed, we had uh, also quite a good communication infrastructure here. We had basically two wireless networks. Um, a DECT network that, um, and a GSM network. We had in total 1,589 numbers registered to the POC infrastructure and approximately 900 SIM cards for the GSM network got sold uh, and 678 SIM cards of those were booked in, so approximately 240 were just vanishing somewhere. Uh, we had uh, large four-digit numbers of SMS sent, calls made, and so on. The call success rate was not that high because there were some problems with distribution of cells and so on, and um, the software being patched live, um, <laughs> as usual. So, but in, in general, it worked pretty well, so we had a very, very well-working communication system. So many thanks to the people from the POC and the GSM team for providing that to us. Yeah, the whole thing here would not be possible without the hard work, weeks and months uh, of the core orga team and the Projektleitung, um, who basically are the people where the buck stops and nobody else takes care of it. And so please a huge round of applause for the orga team who made this whole thing happen even weeks before. <laughs> So and finally, uh, big thanks to the people from the house here from the BCC that are uh, hosting us year after year, uh, even uh, now they know as well. They're still hosting us, which is really great. And uh, many thanks to the BCC and to people taking care of us here. And finally, the whole thing, this whole event is, as you know, is entirely volunteer driven. So there's 
the, the vast proportion of work here is being done by volunteers or angels uh, that are doing everything from standing at the door, letting people in to taking care that stuff is cleaned up and making sure that everything is working and so on. And without them, it wouldn't simply be possible to do an event like this. So we are very proud that we can do events like this in this dimension uh, just based on volunteer work. And so a very, very big applause for our angels. So this basically concludes the 27th Chaos Communication Congress. Um, what is now left is tearing the whole thing down. And um, there are two things to note. One is the network has already been switched off. So you don't need to stay for leaching. You probably have internet at home. But you are extremely welcome to stay if you want to help. Uh, putting everything back to order here and loading all the stuff into the vents and tearing everything down. And um, so Bernie will explain in a second what exactly is to do. I think the first exercise is uh, getting the... Okay, so everybody who wants to help with tearing down is going over there to Bernie, who is coordinating the tearing down. And the exercise that we have now for you is before you leave this room that you untangle the chair that you're sitting on from the chair next to it and you're putting all the chairs in nice piles of 10 at the walls so <laughs> and doing it slowly and thanks for being here and we see you ah, one moment ah, one moment we're seeing you at the camp in summer because we're having a camp in summer And as I heard, the camp will have no size limit. <laughs> <laughs>